Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our digital planners in the app NoteShelf and how to use the tools within NoteShelf. So whenever you purchase any of our planners, um, we usually keep them in a download hub on our website. And that's just so that if we make any changes to the planner, you easily have access to the newest version. So um, in today's example, we are going to use our digital home planner. The digital home planner does have its own download hub so after you buy the digital home planner you have to create an account for a website and then you can download the home planner to your device so um, whenever you access the digital planner download hub um, and pretty much all of our hubs look really similar to this um, you have lots of options down here for the different planners that are included with your purchase and the stickers so to download the planner um, you can see the boxes here. We have a couple different options for this planner and then you just click on the box to download. So I'm going to download this um, landscape version one of the digital home planner. I'm going to just click on it and then I'm going to click download. And if you're using a tablet, the file will automatically start downloading on your tablet. Um, that goes for an iPad um, as well as an Android device. So if you are using um, either one of those, <coughs> It should automatically download to the files app that comes pre-installed on your tablet unless you have overridden those um, settings with um, Google Drive or Dropbox um, and you have it where it might save automatically to those files instead. But mine just save uh, directly to the downloads folder on my iPad. So that um, version of the digital planner has downloaded and I'm also going to download the stickers. So I'm just going to click on it and hit download. And you can see up here that it's downloading. Okay. So once it downloads, I'm going to click out of there and then go to my files and I'm in my downloads folder and you can see the planner here and the digital home planner stickers. The stickers come in zip files, so those will need to be unzipped. And most of the time on any tablet to unzip something, you just um, click on it and it will start to unzip itself. Now I want to open this planner in NoteShelf. So I'm going to open the planner and this just brings up the um, preview of the PDF. So to open it in NoteShelf, I can either go right here and click export and I can scroll down and hit open in NoteShelf. So that's one way you can open it, or you can go to NoteShelf. So let me just grab my NoteShelf app. I already have one in here, but I'm going to open another one. Um, you can click this plus button up here when you're in the NoteShelf app, and you can in hit import document. And um, it automatically came up to my downloads folder, but if it comes, um, up in a different folder for you, you can go to browse and you can um, see all your folders here and you just want to go to downloads or wherever you may have saved your planner at. And then you can click on the planner and it's going to open a new version. So let's open the planner note shelf. And you can see here the planner pops right up. Now, um, with a note shelf, usually it automatically pops up with the toolbar automatically on and you will need to turn the toolbar off to use the hyperlinks within the planner. So right up here, let's just go ahead and go through the tools and I'll show you um, all the tools that you have an option here for. So right here's your pen tool. <laughs> when you click on it, you can change the, th the thickness of the pen up here. You can change the style of your pen and you can change the color of the pen. So let's say I wanted to use this one and I just wanted to write in here. This is a calligraphy pen. You could easily write in right there. This one is your highlighter. So you can highlight whatever you want. This is the eraser. You can go back and erase it. This is the lasso tool which I'll show you how to use that um, with when we use our stickers. This is the text box tool. Um, I don't have my keyboard set up right now, but if you use that, you can click on the text box and then you can, with your keyboard, start typing. Because I have my pen um, 
set up it's wanting me to to write instead of using a text box but you can use a text box for that and you can see all the settings down here for how um big you want your your text to be if you want to do bullet points etc this <coughs> excuse me is um where you can screencast your planner to like a presentation if you're going to use that and this is how you turn the tools on and off so now that i have this turned off i can click through the hyperlinks of the planner so you can click through all the tabs and within each tabs here on um we have an index for each of the tabs up here and you can click on each and every page of the planner some other tools up here right here is your shapes so if you wanted to make a shape oops there we go so if you want to make a shape you could easily draw circles squares stars and they automatically um <laughs> format to the correct shape when you're using your shapes tool i'm just going to go ahead and erase these This is your zoom tool. So say that you want to write in your planner, but you don't want to, let's turn this off. You don't want to like zoom like this. You also have the option to use the zoom tool. So you can click this one right here, and then you can move this around to wherever you might want to write. Turn on your pin, and you can write in here. And it's going to show up right over here where you wanted to type. If you need to export your planner, you can export uh, one page, all pages, or select pages of the planner. And here is where you look at all the pages of your planner. So here's where you can duplicate a page. So let's say one example is of our daily planning pages we only give you one of those um and the reason that we give you just one is because you have the ability to duplicate it um so whether you may be someone who wants to write on this and then erase it every single day or if you want to duplicate it and you have um seven different pages of this or as many as you want you could do 365 if you wanted to um you have the option to duplicate so if you want to duplicate it you just go right up here and you're going to hit edit. You're going to select the page that you want to duplicate and you can duplicate it right here. You can also rotate it. You can share it. Um, and then you can copy it, tag it. You can move it around. Lots of different options of how, what you can do with each page. Another um, example of a page that you will have to duplicate is our recipe page. So, um, let's say that you have an appetizer between each section of the recipe section. We only provide you with one page of recipes. So, um, when you swipe again, it goes to the next section of recipes. So you will have to duplicate this page to be able to put more than just two recipes in here. Okay. So now let's talk about stickers. Now that we've went through all those tools, um, stickers, we do not provide a note shelf, um, file we only provide a good notes file because it's the most popular digital planning app so to use stickers within and within nutshell you have to copy and paste them which is really simple to do you're just going to go to your files app i'm going to close the planner and i'm going to go over here and i'm going to open the sticker folder and you're going to go to pngs because this is we're not using good notes so you have to open the pngs and then you go to whatever sticker you want so i'm going to um, choose the cleaning icons and let's say that I want to clean the bathrooms today so I'm going to open the sticker and then I'm going to hit export and copy now if you're using an Android device your settings might be a little bit different there you might have to like a long hold and copy um, however you copy something in um, the kind of tablet that you use you just want to do that and copy it but more than likely you'll be able to export and hit copy and then you want to go back to the planner and let's go to our um, calendar here and to paste it in I'm just going to long press and I'm going to hit paste. Now 
this shows up really big so I want to obviously resize this so to do that I'm just going to click on the sticker and you can drag it by the sides and resize it it's really easy to do now I also have some more options with the sticker so let's go through these options you can um, cut it copy it delete it lock it so you can lock it in place um, you can also bring it to the front or send to the back and that is one really great feature in Nutshelf that we you don't get in good notes is being able to move it so let's say that I wanted to put that sticker on top of another sticker let's just go to a box and let's say I want to put it on this sticky note so I'm going to export this and copy it and go back to my planner and let's paste that sticky note I'm going to resize it and I want this toilet to be on top of the sticker so if I just move that over it's going to go to the back so what you want to do is click on the sticker that you want um, in the front or the back because I already moved it I'm just going to send this um, sticking it to the back so I'm just going to click send to back and now my toilet sticker is on top of my sticky note sticker and that is a really really great uh, function of note shelf that we really like okay so now let's say that I want to move all of this to a different day say like Friday is not a great day to clean bathrooms um, to do that you can just go up here and click on your lasso tool and make a circle around it and then you have lots of options you can cut it copy it delete it resize it take a screenshot or color it or you can just move with your pen tool so let's say I want to do that on Wednesday instead so I'm going to stick that right there and that's a really easy way to use your lasso tool um, another great way to use your lasso tool is if you let's say you drew a sh shape and let's just draw a square right here Oops. You have to turn your pen tool on and then your shapes to be able to draw a shape. Okay, so I drew a square. And let's say I don't want the square to be black anymore. I want to change it to a different color. You just click on the lasso tool and then lasso it. And then you can hit color and you can change it to a different color. You can also resize it. So I can make this bigger. I can angle it and make it smaller. So there's like a ton of different things that you can do with the lasso tool as far as moving things around. Um, another great way to use it is if, let's say that every Friday you have a doctor's appointment. So say that you are pregnant and you have to go to the doctor every two weeks now, like me, um, you, Let's just leave the pen tool as it is. So let's say we have a doctor's appointment. And this calligraphy pen is not great. Let me erase this. Oh, it's because I have my shape tools on. Silly me. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's say that we have this doctor's appointment every other Friday for who knows how long. So you can lasso it and you can copy it and then you can paste that here, paste it here. So this is like great to use if you only want to write something once and you um, need to copy it and paste it multiple times. Um, this could be like for your work schedule or practice or anything that you might have going on um, that you want to use and copy more than once, you could do that with the lasso tool. Um, and I kind of messed this up whenever I tried to lasso it. So you can see here that the text got a little funny. So um, if you ever want to like undo something that you did, you just go right up here to the undo button and it will take it away. So those are the basic functions of Note Shelf. Um, it works really well. It's a great digital planning app and a really good option for um, Android device users. You could also use it on an Apple um, iPad, just like I'm doing. Although I do recommend GoodNotes for Apple just because it has a few more features than um, Note Shelf and 
e the stickers are a whole lot easier to use in good notes than in note shelf but um, if you're using an android device i highly recommend using note shelf over any other um, digital planning app like zoto if you have any questions that i didn't answer or um, you need a specific tutorials on something do not hesitate to message me or email me and i will definitely find you an answer and let you know